Today is Thursday the 20th of November 2014 and today we're looking at another video by Serial Hoaxer Secure Team 10. In this video, uh, uploaded on the 19th of November 2014, called Leaked Giant Body Behind Saturn Entering Solar System Cover Up, we see Secure Team is claiming uh, that this video has been uh, supplied to him showing the planet Saturn and some mystery object behind the planet Saturn which he is claiming is affecting the planets in our solar system. So let's have a listen to the introduction to this video and hear what he has to say. Yes, my name is Ken and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. That is all that I can say at this time. This footage here was personally taken by myself and another colleague at the WM Keck Observatory, which is located near the summit of Hawaii's Mona Kea, uh, a major space agency. Okay, I'll pause that there and we'll take it to 110, uh, where we hear Ken, the astronomer, claim that uh, the image of uh, Saturn was taken in early November 2014. Let's have a listen to that. This here, let me pull it up is an image of Saturn that we captured in early November of this year, 2014, after we had imaged Uranus uh, and imaged a growing massive storm on Uranus with enormous cloud systems so bright for that for the first time ever, we, along with other amateur astronomers, could see the details in the planet's atmosphere. Okay, so there we've had confirmation that the image of Saturn was supposedly taken in early November 2014, and also he is pointing to disturbances on uh, Uranus. Um, now there are several problems with this video and we're going to take a look at those uh, problems and see if this is yet another hoaxed video by Serial Hoaxer Secure Team 10. First of all, let's take a look at the view of the solar system in Starry Night and see where the planets are. So presently we have, uh, this is set to 10th of November, he did say uh, early November and his video was uh, uploaded on the 19th of November. So presently we have uh, the Earth over here on, on this side and we've got Saturn out the other side of the solar system here, which poses a bit of a problem for imaging Saturn because it's on the other side of the Sun. So you're going to be hard pressed to uh, get an image of Saturn when it's uh, actually in the daytime sky or so close to um, sunrise or evening that uh, there's too much light in the sky to get an image. We'll also check to see whereabouts Uranus is in relation to Saturn because remember that this object, this mystery object, was supposedly behind Saturn somewhere but somehow affecting Uranus. Well, Uranus is way over here. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, view of um, where Saturn is in relation to the Sun as seen in the daytime sky from Mauna Kea Observatory. Again, this is set to 10th of November 2014 and we can see that uh, Saturn is very close to the Sun. Now if I zoom into Saturn, we're going to take a look at the rings and uh, compare what they would look like um, if we were imaging Saturn. Now I'm going to hide the daylight for obvious reasons, because it's a bit hard to see otherwise. And we're going to compare the tilt of uh, Saturn, the uh, tilt of the ring around Saturn, uh, compared to the planet, we can see the um, the angle that we're looking at there, and we're going to compare it to the image in Secure Team's video. Now, what we notice here is that we can actually see more of the bottom of the planet here, and we can see that the top of the planet is protruding above the edge of the rings here. Now, over a period of time, the view of Saturn and the angle of the rings does change over a period of years and um, so what this tells us, that this is the current view of Saturn, so what this tells us is that this image here that we're seeing here was actually taken much earlier than November because the angle of the rings is incorrect as to what it should be now. That's how it should be looking now. Okay, but um, what else can we find in this video which might indicate that it's actually faked? Well, let's have a look at that um, image where he's showing this object um, behind Saturn and uh, let's see if we can work out what it could be. Now, when I saw this, I thought, hmm, this looks remarkably familiar. I think I've seen something like this before. And uh, sure enough, let's have a look. Here's the image again. And what we're actually seeing here is a photoshopped image of the planet Uranus. 
and this was actually taken from Voyager 2. Now I've rotated this image here so that it's the same as we see it uh, in the screenshot from Secure Teams video. And uh, in this side-by-side -side comparison we can see these features on Uranus here which match up. Now this feature here is actually quite distinctive and if I go to this one with the arrows you can see I've matched them up here. Um, we've got this, this line here which matches this feature here and uh, so clearly uh, what Secure Team has done is taken an image of uh, Uranus, he's rotated it and using Photoshop he's changed the contrast and so on and brought it into this image of Saturn and once again of course our image of Saturn is actually a much earlier image because of the angle of the rings. But wait there's more, what about Ken the astronomer? Well I thought Ken the astronomer, his voice seemed to sound rather um, familiar so I took a closer look at that and I imported the audio from uh, the video, this one here a uh, giant body behind Saturn entering our solar system. I imported this into Audacity and I also imported the audio from Secure Team's previous video Comet 67P an alien ship radio signals and surface structure anomalies. Okay so I'll just play a little bit of each video. I'll start with the one on the on the bottom and uh, we'll hear a little bit of that. Yes my name is Ken and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. That is all that I can say at this time. This footage here was personally taken by myself and another colleague at the WM Keck Observatory, which is located near the summit of Hawaii's Mauna Kea. Okay, and now we'll listen to the top track, which is uh, Secure Team Tyler Glockner speaking. Let's have a listen. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Secure Team. Thank you for stopping by. Now, what you just heard was a direct recording of a signal coming from Comet 67P, captured by the Rosetta spacecraft as it approached the so-called comet for landing. The okay, now I've taken the first clip of each of those and uh, just brought them out the side here so that we can see them easily. And I'll just play that for you again. Yes, my name is Ken, and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. That is all. So there's Ken, the astronomer. And uh, here is Tyler Glockner for, from Secure Team. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Secure Team. Thank you for stopping by. Now, what you just heard was a direct recording of a. So, what happens when we change the pitch on these recordings? If I change this one down and change this one up, let's see what happens. So, this one here, I've changed the pitch down by about 20%. I'm going to play this and then we're going to hear the recording, the clip from the, uh, the Saturn video. So, let's hear that. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Secure Team. Thank you for stopping by. Now, what you just heard was a direct recording of a signal coming from Comet 67P, captured by the Rosetta spacecraft as it approached the so-called comet for landing. The yes, my name is Ken, and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. That is all that I can say at this time. This footage here was personally taken by myself and another colleague at the WM Keck Observatory, which is located near the summit of Hawaii's Mauna Kea. Now they sound remarkably similar to me. I would say that uh, that Ken, our astronomer, is in fact Tyler Glockner from Secure Team. But let's check it the other way as well. Uh, let's listen to the soundbite from the previous video and compare it to the soundbite from the Saturn video where I've uh, changed up the pitch um, plus 20% and see how they compare. Hey guys, this is Tyler with Secure Team. Thank you for stopping by. Now, what you just heard was a direct recording of a signal coming from Comet 67P, captured by the Rosetta spacecraft as it approached the so-called comet for landing. The yes, my name is Ken, and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. That is all that I can say at this time. This footage here was personally taken by myself and another colleague at the WM Keck Observatory, which is located near the summit of Hawaii's Mauna Kea. So uh, you call that one and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, would you say that this is Tyler Glockner is pretending to be Ken the astronomer? Uh, I certainly think so. Um, but anyway, one more thing just to remember from last time we looked at uh, one of Secure Team's videos is um, this post from his Facebook page, which he has since taken down. Now I should point out that this was a uh, public post and under the terms and conditions of Facebook he has actually published a, this as a public post so I am actually allowed to uh, use this in my video. Um, he has challenged me on this previously and found that it is actually public property because according to the terms and conditions he has published it. As we can see here is the um, public icon and so this is a picture of, of Tyler in front of his computer as you can see he's got the secure team logo on there, he's got the secure team logo there 
and what was his caption? Bringing home the bacon. And this is how he makes his money by faking these videos, hoaxing and uploading them, uh, pretending that he's been sent these fantastic videos and by getting all the views on his YouTube channel of course he's making plenty of money bringing home the bacon. So as far as disinformation goes, um, well you've got to hand it to Tyler Glockner of Secure Team. He is a master of disinformation and once again his video about this object, giant body behind Saturn entering solar system cover up is yet another hoax. Please be sure to share this video wherever you see Secure Team's hoax video posted and as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching. Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday the 20th of November 2014 and today we're looking at another video by serial hoaxer Secure Team 10. In this video uh, uploaded on the 19th of November 2014 called Leaked Giant Body Behind Saturn Entering Solar System Cover Up. We see Secure Team is claiming uh, that this video has been uh, supplied to him showing the planet Saturn and some mystery object behind the planet Saturn which he is claiming is affecting the planets in our solar system. So let's have a listen to the introduction to this video and hear what he has to say. Yes, my name is Ken, and I work as a, an astronomer and a scientist for a government agency. That is all that I can say at this time. This footage here was personally taken by myself and another colleague at the WM Keck Observatory, which is located near the summit of Hawaii's Mona Kea, uh, a major space agency. Okay, I'll pause that there, and we'll take it to 110, uh, where we hear Ken, the astronomer, claim that uh, the image of uh, Saturn was taken in early November 2014. Let's have a listen to that. This here, let me pull it up, is an image of Saturn that we captured in early November of this year, 2014, after we had imaged Uranus uh, and imaged a growing massive storm on Uranus with enormous cloud systems so bright for that for the first time ever, we, along with other amateur astronomers, could see the details in the planet's atmosphere.